coffee we're drinking some TTL coffee? Uh, definitely not TTL coffee. Um, I mean, I suppose it'd be a good brand to support, but um, I actually don't know what kind of coffee it is. I'm a very lucky guy. My girlfriend wakes up before me every morning, so I walk down the stairs like a king and I get a hot cup of coffee or two every morning. And I, uh, since moving into the house, have not made coffee once. So that's, it's a pretty nice life. <laughs> and then I come and I say, oh, what do I want to have for breakfast? The Costco muffins are usually a good option. Um, we've got a, we've got an 18 mile run up this morning. So kind of trying to figure out how to get a little nutrition, but not have the stomach upset. Um, no alarm this morning. So we slept from like lights off was about nine twenty nine thirty. So fell asleep right away from about nine forty, and it's now seven fifteen. So that's a pretty big sleep. I had a big training day for me now. Um, you know, um, I had a five hour and forty minute ride, four mile run, and a swim yesterday. So that was a pretty big day. So uh, just kind of getting the miles in, and today we're gonna bring you through through all of it, right? Yeah, but not the outer plastic, just the in, inner plastic. So we recycle here in uh, Tucson? Is this oh, yes. something you brought from Boulder? <laughs> it's something I brought from Boulder. My mom, Betty Long, as we all know, she's the king of recycle, compost, you name it, reusing. And um, back home, we save plastic bags and we have to bring them to a special shop and we have to drop them off and we do compost. And um, we're not quite that... Uh, progressive here we don't have compost and if it doesn't fit in the regular recycle bin then it doesn't get recycled um now we're making what we can do we're doing what we can right yeah and i'm having to teach her because she doesn't know any of this stuff yes i do stop <laughs> that's why i said happy happy cr christmas or whatever <laughs> <laughs> what oh my god i could have done that mathematics for you oh oh you're paying for it that's why I said Happy Christmas. It's Merry Christmas. <laughs> uh. Happy Hanukkah. Whatever you want to celebrate, we can celebrate. And either way, it was a yeah, nice present. Yeah, that's not a Christmas present. Oh, you're not happy because I bought you a gym membership for six months? <laughs> yeah. That's a pretty good present. $180 present. <clears throat> oh my God. What's the main thing you want for Christmas? Mm. You can't remember? No, what, did I tell you already? Yeah. What? A toolbox. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, a toolbox with drawers. Because you really want to be a handyman, isn't that right? Yeah, because I'm the handyman of the house. Oh, are you other things of the house? Yeah, the alpha. Oh. <laughs> You're also the coffee maker, huh? Yes. And aren't you the house cleaner? No. <laughs> what are we doing? Oh, so this is called a Mobo board. Um, it's just good for basically foot strength, foot activation. Um, it's good to do a little bit of before a run when I have the time. I'm really only doing it right now because I'm waiting for Kenny to get ready. But um, no, it's good to do before a run like twice a week. Um, I just do a bit. It, it just helps activate the nerves of the foot and um, I think it helps with my form. It's got a little bit of a tendency to drop my ankles down. Um, but I don't believe in orthotics at all. Um, I believe in strengthening the foot and it's the way my foot naturally moves with that. So I don't want to, I actually, the only time I ever got a run injury was when I used orthotics <laughs> only time in my whole life. And so everyone always says, Oh, you've got this issue where you pronate in the way to fix that is to get orthotics. Well, I know for a fact it's not because that's the only time in my life I ever got injured running. So this is kind of a good cure. You'll see my overall gym routine today, which is more focused on big muscle groups like quads, glutes, um, some upper body, but a lot of core as well. And this is more focused on kind of those lower leg, small musculature. So working on both the big things and the little things. And this I just have at my house because it's actually best in like five or 10 minute sessions. So what's uh what's the plan for the run plan for the run is 18 miles so off season hits a little different with sam long it's 18 miles it's just called for a high aerobic run i'm kind of doing 
I'm gonna test myself just a little bit today. I'm gonna do it as negative split. So basically six, six, and six. Six warm up, six moderate, six in control, but uh, I don't know, maybe an 80% effort. So nothing crazy hard. I'd like to see around seven minutes, 6.30 and six minutes. And we've added a little, since it's off season, we're building strength. I shouldn't really honestly use the word off season. It's not off season at all anymore. It's preparatory period. Um, we're starting downhill to make it easier, warm up the legs. Actually, overall, it makes the run harder and that way it ends uphill with a great strength component. So it makes it probably more like a 19 mile run um, in terms of strength needed and you have to finish the hardest uphill. So it just will get that glute activation and force me to be strong up to the end and get those hills in for all the races of 2022. And remember everyone, it's coming up to the holiday season. You can use code LONGPOWER15 with a capital L and a capital P to get 15% off all Power Bar sport products. And I would highly recommend, great gift to a fellow athlete. Um, this is the number one flavor to try. This is their Hydrogel. It comes in Mojito, which has caffeine, and it comes in Orange, which does not have caffeine. These have truly changed my life with running. Everyone who's tried them, it changes it as well. It'll take you like a few to get used to the salt in the Mojito flavor, but um, I would suggest getting one of each, the Mojito pack and the Orange pack, and that way you can switch off when you want caffeine and don't want caffeine. So today, I'll be taking this about 12 miles in right before I want to get really going. And um, they're perfect for racing because they've got a little extra water. So and are perfect for runs where you don't have sag because you bring like three or four of them, um, which is why I say to get the orange too, otherwise you're taking in way too much caffeine and you're good to go. So give it a go, practice your race nutrition and see the performance benefits, long power 15. I know, I could be a salesman. I mean, I am kind of a salesman, I guess, aren't I? That's kind of the job. Yeah, so 2022. Let's talk 2022. That's going to be a huge dynamite year. Um, I think it's, if you've been paying any attention, like next year is the year you don't step up the game, you get left behind. And we saw that start this year and next year that's going to be the completion of it. Um, COVID, the pandemic, the loss of races, the PTO made this sport more competitive than it's ever been before. It's kind of a crazy phenomenon. Of course, I have to talk about my contemporaries, Gustav Eden and Christian Blue from Norway. And I got my ass kicked in 70.3 worlds despite being second. I was three and a half minutes down. And then we've seen Blumenfeld won the gold medal, smashed Ironman Cozumel, and just yesterday won Daytona as a little celebration lap. So let's take that into account. 70.3 worlds, everyone in the top five was right around 25 years of, old, of age. And the sports changed. What I can say about myself is I'm probably one of the last very few who started late and can be successful. I started at 18. All these guys started at 12 or something crazy. And hard work doesn't win anymore. It does, but you have to work hard and you have to work smart. You have to build an amazing team. You have to do everything right. And that's what the focus is on. And I mean, to be honest, it was a little demoralizing being in, resting, sitting around and watching everyone smash things and raise the game. And it's just a little fire underneath my ass. And I just canceled my Christmas break plans. There is no Christmas break this year. There is no time with the holidays, time with the family. It's about, raising my game and I will not be left behind. I don't want to face the prospect of never winning a world title because two of the very best guys are the same age as me. And 
it's not just them two. We've got so many others. So many other young young guys. Daniel Backgard. I mean, Rudy Vonberg, Ben Knud. They're still stepping it up. And I think we're gonna see a big changing of the guard next year. And I'm quite looking forward to that. So the work begins. The work's already started. I feel completely confident in myself. I started the latest of anyone and I've got the biggest improvement curve. So I'm just obsessed with my own improvement. I don't look at what anyone else does. I don't really care. We compare ourselves on race day. Let's keep getting it, baby. <sighs> my shoulder is getting tired, boy. I was trying brekkie, that's right. And I eat eggs uh, pretty much every day, so. They're kind of my specialty to cook, I suppose you could say. I've got this special seasoning. Um, Captain Rick's, they're my homestay in St. George that I've stayed with for like, I've stayed with them like seven times. So, and they make this awesome seasoning um, and it goes great with eggs. And so we whip that up and you know, it's uh, the first rule of being an endurance athlete is eat when you're hungry. Don't, don't be weird about eating calories basically. At least that's my first rule. Um, <laughs> and pretty much eat whatever you feel like eating and you know you create healthy habits and you basically just go to the store and buy healthy stuff and then you eat that but if you learn to eat healthy um over time that's just what you start to crave and so then you don't really care to eat unhealthy stuff that much but i mean i'll be the first to admit i definitely have a bit of a sweet tooth so I eat some type of a dessert every single day, without a doubt. Um, but it's also, like, you actually, if you're an age trooper, to be completely honest, you shouldn't look to a professional for advice on what to eat because when you train 30 hours a week, like, salt, salt's awesome. I love salt, you know, that's not general dietary advice. Um, but when you train in the heat, particularly if you are now living somewhere like Arizona, you sweat a lot, so you need salt. Um, anyways, as an age trooper or a regular person, um, you shouldn't look to what a professional does because we train so much and burn so many calories that it's so much about just meeting and not having a caloric deficit for us. While if you're, I mean, I have to eat five, 6,000 calories a day. While if you're more on the 2000 calorie diet, like most people, then you got to stay away from this big thing I'm taking out. Cheese. But cheese is a wonderful and miraculous thing for me. So. We put a big, nice glop on the eggs. And anyways, everyone's nutrition is different. Eat not to gain weight, eat not to lose weight. And that's that. Do you want an English muffin, Kenny? Yes, please. Okay. And I'll have two English muffins. So this is just my standard breakfast. Two English muffins, three or four eggs, avocado, bitch and dip, and that's that. And cheese, don't forget the cheese, right? Tell you what, it's another penny in my motivation piggy bank because it's been like I took my off season early and then I've had to watch guys I know I can race with go and win. And don't get me wrong, I'm happy for Lyle to win. It's it's great that he won. Um, I mean, it's unfortunate that Vincent got hit by a car, and I really wanted to see how that battle would have played out for real and. I think it would have been pretty close and but anyways it's just you know another race i've sat out on the sidelines of and i it's not something i'm like i, I regret doing um because i feel i have a great plan for next year and that it's been the right full path and plan but it's something that's um i watch them and i just add the pennies to the motivation piggy bank and the piggy bank to work hard and be better and to get on that start line next year more hungry and faster and better than ever before and so 
that piggy bank's pretty stock full. Um, I think my run's on par with those guys, and I kind of wanted to see who it actually was. So, okay, show sure was one of them. It's open. It's really affected my life. And this has exceeded anything that I would have thought. What's going on? Just the yes. sheer I'm watching the moment. No, you're not. What? Yeah. No, you're not. You started over. No, I'm watching it. I've been watching it for about 15 minutes. Why would you do that? Because you were taking the time to get home. <laughs> He's going to get killed. It's disgusting. It's so dirty. It smells like... She's Italian, her blood runs red hot. And that, she's Italian and she's, her zodiac sign is Aries. So you really gotta be careful with this one. <laughs> yeah, you better be careful. Okay, so what are we gonna, what? Okay, so what are we gonna do about this? Okay. Each way? Yeah. Oh my gosh. So the gym session that I do, um, I have my very sort of standardized routine and Laura actually is a personal trainer and she specializes, or she worked at a company that specialized in backs and back strength, particularly for tall people. And that's been a weakness of mine. So admittedly, I am now getting some strength advice from my girlfriend. Um, so she gives me some stuff on the warm up that I usually have no clue what I'm doing on, but I do anyways. And then I have a very sort of standardized routine I do. So today it's front squats. That's really the main lift. I always do one main heavy lift. So that's really the bulk of the work of the day. And then a few accessory lifts. And there's always a longer kind of foam roll warm up, and then a lot of core activation and core strength to make sure that my core stays strong because I have no problem putting power out. I have issues staying connected and being able to put that power out. So um, anyways, it's pretty simple twice a week. Every Tuesday, I do a heavy deadlift. Every Sunday, I do a heavy front squat in the off season. And those are really the two magical exercises, in my opinion. Don't you agree? Yeah. Uh, now you're going to do bridges. OK. Single leg. Single leg this time. Yeah. OK. So your core is off. All right, here's the question. Who can do more, more pull-ups, me or Laura? Put your comment below, and um, we'll see who wins. And we go rock, paper, scissors. No, 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 scissors. no, 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 Okay, on. rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh! You go first. God. Which one? This one? Wait, 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 hold on a second. Yeah, go. she takes this very seriously. I know how many you can do. And no cheating. What does that mean? Okay, ready? Yeah. One. Two. Three, four, five. You're putting your knees into it. Six. Oh, I'm not. Seven. Uh. Eight. Two more. You got two more. Nine. Ten. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> Time to let the big dog eat. This is gonna be somewhat embarrassing, I think. But I gotta get nice and serious. That does not okay. count as one. <laughs> All right. Whoa. One. Whoa. Ooh. Two. Ooh. Three. Ooh. Four. Ooh. Five. He's slowing down. Six. Seven. Ooh. Eight. Ooh. Oh, oh. Ooh. I'm gonna be sore. <laughs> Fucking month. Ten. That's it. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's right. That's why he can't go first. Or I can't go first. Oh, Whew. All right, what are we doing? What's the swim set? Uh, what's the swim set? You should always come with a plan before you get in the water. And we have done exactly not that, which means we have not come with a plan before getting in the water. Oh, that this one's open. Oh, terrific! Oh, wait, no, uh, it's not. Oh no, it's not. No, it's not. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> All 
Um, she was hiding. No, I think it's just a recovery swim. I'm pretty smoked from the whole week, to be honest. I'm at 27,000 yards for the week, so I'm hoping for 3K. But I forgot my paddles and pole blue when your legs are tired. Um, the swim set doesn't matter. I'm working on one thing today. I'm trying to end my breath earlier because I have an issue of a lagging breath. And I did video analysis yesterday and saw that. And so um, I'm not really concerned about times or whatever, 3,000 yards. I actually don't even think I'll count the yards. Um, I just have to end that breath earlier because it's causing this whole bunch of other issues. My legs are splaying out because of it. It's causing a dropped elbow. Um, it's causing all sorts of stuff. So the swim focus, I actually did come with a plan. It's end your breath earlier and practice doing that. Regardless of the pace, regardless of the distance, regardless of the interval, that's the session. How about you? This is going to be his pool boy today. Hey, I'm sponsored by Aquasphere. I don't use anything but Aquasphere. Oh. That must be yours, too. <laughs> I do jump in the pool most days. It's not heated, so it's pretty cold, but um, I'm paying for the pool, so I try to jump in almost every day. That's, I guess, a mantra or a rule of life my dad taught me. If you're paying for something, you damn well better use it. So uh, I use it even though sometimes I maybe don't enjoy using it. And anyways, another day banked. Um, overall, the day went mostly how I wanted. I guess the swim wasn't quite what I wanted, but I just simply ran out of energy, and so it just went in for fuel for the water swim and that's sometimes how it is you have you have a plan it doesn't always work out totally how you want and um, you always have to listen to the body and if you're tired definitely don't push through and and do crazy stuff so still a good day I mean 18 mile run heavy lift and ended up with 1700 yards of the pool and yeah I mean the season's over and the big thing I guess it's hard for me like I had an incredibly successful year and yet I feel like I wasn't successful or I, like I, I know I had a successful year, but it's just weird. Like I want to be number one so bad that like I sometimes forget to enjoy the, the little accomplishments that have to go along the way. And so I'm trying to enjoy those and enjoy every step you have to increase. I mean, I went from 34th at 70.3 worlds in 2019 to second. So like, I'm not sure I could have asked for more from myself realistically, but yet I want more for myself and I always want more for myself, but um, if you're never happy while always wanting more, then I guess I'm just asking to never be happy in life. <laughs> and so I'm trying to be happy in life while also wanting more. And I guess that's that's really truthfully what I'm working on in my mindset right now. All right, what are we doing for the evening? Now we turn off triathlon and we just enjoy the night. We're going out. I mean, after all, it's only December. We're still enjoying things. We're going out, getting some margaritas and getting some Mexican food and yeah, just chilling out. So I don't know, maybe Kenny will have the camera and maybe not, we'll see. All right, my man. And yeah, oh, of course we have to thank everyone. Everyone, thank you so much for following along. I know we've been a bit quiet the last two months, but we've got big plans to step it up, up the ante, bring you great content, uh, really just fill you in on the journey more. And so if you like it, please do like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends about it. Um, Truthfully, we don't, I mean, it's a big ask on Kenny. It's a big ask on me. We do it because we think people enjoy it. And um, so please share the love if you like it. And that way we can keep making it happen.